Hey, welcome back to another exciting episode in the teenage series. So today we are taking a very interesting topic. This is mostly focused on our teenage girls, okay? We have the ones for teenage boys, but this episode is basically focusing on teenage girls. And the topic is referred to as beyond beauty and brains. Beyond beauty and brains. So basically we are going to be talking about virtues, other virtues that teenage girls ought to possess beyond being beautiful, beyond being brainy. You know, because we have um, teenage girls that are beautiful that don't actually know they're beautiful. We also have teenage girls that are brainy and are not confident of themselves. You know, so balancing all of those things and balancing um, behaviors that are not acceptable as teenage girls is what we're actually going to address. So Jess, do you want to go first or you want me to hit the show? You can. Oh, okay. All right. So let, let's start with um, explaining what beyond beauty and brain is all about. Okay. Um, teenagers can be often beautiful, you know, and know that they are beautiful and confident about it. Okay. But beauty is beyond what we see on the physical. We also look at the inner beauty. Inner beauty has to do with what you have to offer, the way you carry yourself, the way you empathize with people, how compassionate you are, all of that um, comprises of inner beauty and much more, you know, your grace, your courage, you know. So um, if parents are doing their duty rightfully, you, if, you, if you are raising your daughters um, in the right way, you inculcate this habit from time. You remind them to make affirmations about themselves, speak to themselves in the mirror, remind themselves of who they are, they are brave, they are beautiful, regardless of whatever pressure or stress that they're facing with, faced with. Yeah. So basically, we know actually that um, teenagers, um, um, they experience these mood swings between the 13 to 18 years, um, which I'm experiencing, I'm seeing more of it, just as, um, you know, 13 this year, and I'm beginning to experience all of those mood swings. I guess she, you know, shed more light, she will, give, she will say more about her life experience as a teenager and why we're dealing with all the uh, mood swings we get to experience but from my you know my take on that is that parents have to understand that these things are part of nature you know but sometimes parents can be confused because you pass that stage and probably you can't remember how you behaved as a teenager but i'm telling you from even what research has proven that certain moods and especially young girls it's, it's more it's more common with ladies yeah sometimes just we just cry for nothing i'm like what is it what have I done? What has daddy done now? And she's like, nothing, nothing, nothing. She just needs her space. And then I do give her her space. But at some time, I come back to, you know, give her some sense of insurance, you know, because I can understand that those moodiness. Even as a woman, sometimes when you get your period, you know how emotional, emotional you can be, you know. So those tantrums and all of that are part of nature's way of um, teenagers dealing with their mood swings. But I think parents have a long way to go in explaining these things to them, in helping them overgrow them, in helping them deal with it, so they don't, you know, it doesn't turn out to on the negative side. So, with regards to uh, managing a child, uh, a teenager's, you know, confidence and beauty and brainy, being brainy, all of them work together. Parents have to ensure that their teenagers have more to offer than just being beautiful than just being brainy. You know, inculcate the habit of, you know, empathy empathy in a teenager when a child is selfless when a teenager learns to be selfless from time you know it goes a long way because that habit will rub off on the people she gets to mix up with later in the adulthood you know i see for jenisa um, Je uh, jess i really give her a thumbs up for it she she is very selfless with carrying her siblings around and the way she you know her love for people generally reaching out to people glory to god but that i know she's doing very well at but the mid swings you know you know it's something that every um, teenager will handle individually we should not take it too hard on the children sometimes we should let them have their space and then other times we should know when you know there should be boundaries to set you know just because a child is smart or doing very well at school doesn't mean that she shouldn't have manners just because a child is beautiful and doing well at school doesn't mean she shouldn't have rules and regulations at home you know you have time to study you have time to also engage in house chores you, have, you should have time to learn how to cook or join mommy in the kitchen all of that is what makes or encompasses a woman so a, a woman is multitasked she has to know how to carry out everything i see some women or young girls growing up these days just because they've got nannies in the house 
they are not used to cooking, they are not used to cleaning. All they do is study and books and books and books. But I'm telling you, there's more to it when you're raising teenagers. You should see beyond beauty and brain. Just um, let me give you some space to say one or two things if you have. So um, let's just start off with me watching this movie. So I watched this movie and it was about like how this single mother was raising a teenager oh my gosh i feel so sorry for this mother the teenager was so smart she outsmarts her mom so many times mm. and she also like uses like the re like should i call it a reason or something that she's single and like she divorced the, the dad to like manipulate her some t most of the times like she would use her smartness to get what she wants and everything like that and i feel that quite a lot of teenagers are like that for me i'm not really like that maybe sometimes but i'm not that bad but because yeah because my mom has like she's strict but like she's also loving at the same time you can't push her too far you can push her but there's a standard that you can push her to. oh absolutely yeah so um <laughs> yeah i feel that that the mother just needs like to know all about like what how i'm so tangled up with my words right now because like i'm not really show what the mom needs but i just feel that the mom just needs to set boundaries with her and her daughter and get things straight but anyway besides movies let's get on to reality so in reality yes there are some teenagers that are very beautiful that can even be models but they just don't have the self-confidence that they could be one they feel that no maybe it's just me seeing myself as a, if i'm beautiful because as teenagers do grow up they do get this thing where they feel how others feel about them like sometimes i also feel that too but i don't let it take me too far i'm like you know i don't really care because who's gonna judge me i don't really care about boys and stuff like that so anyway i also feel that um, mothers that have very brainy teenagers you should be very very careful set boundaries set um, like you know set rules that you can't take me that far you know like even with buying stuff that they want the teenagers can push their mom so far but you know you have to set a boundary no I can't exceed over this amount of money just for clothes and stuff like that Absolutely. so Yes, I feel that's what a mother really needs to have and also for the mothers that have teenagers that they like they are so beautiful and you feel that like your teenager can be like can be something up there but they just don't have that self confidence. You must always just try and push them, you know, because you need to give your teenager a little push for them to go out there and show themselves. Like some people can sing, they sing in the shower, they don't really want people to know. But who knows, they could be like the world's best singer one Absolutely. day, you I know. So yeah, I feel that's what the moms should be doing right now because, you know, some moms are just so busy with work they just push the nannies to like do everything and then the nanny is just like why should i care it's not my child you know so i also feel that with teenagers with mood swings and all that type of stuff like i know i'm a teenager that gets like should i say stressed and when i get stressed i get sad then from sad i get to angry it's just like something that i don't really understand right now but maybe later on I understand. Understand. it's part of the process <laughs> yeah but anyway yeah that's what just happens like maybe there's so many things on my shoulder then i just want to just let it out and my, i'm so thankful that i have a mom that actually understands because there's so many people that have moms that are just like you know what you are so annoying why can't you just act like a normal child like how you used to be and that just makes the teenager even more you know sad and you know all that type of stuff but anyway that's how i feel that things should be 
the you should like mom should be understanding if the mom is not understanding then obviously they should be an understanding dad Absolutely. i feel that with me it's mostly my mom that understands me my dad just gives me like the information that i can use like you know lecture but anyway yeah that's how i feel that things are with me but sometimes the mom is busy in other families then the dad sits down with the daughter then i see in so many shows that the dad is like the joke you are and the clown and stuff like that yeah, it's all it's all very the family yeah. is very so you just appreciate what you have just i think we've said enough um on that note please hold on um, um as we feature so wonderful beautiful smart amazing um young ladies um they are quite going out of the teenagehood uh, but I, I i felt it's good it's needful for a more mature teenager to, to handle this and they did justice to me they are sisters and just call them as we feature them very soon until then see you next time bye, bye.